own mouth with a blink and soft smile, nothing but electric sign. You can say she has an individual style, she's a part carnival town. Wolfgang's Vault is an online store which features the largest and most complete collection of rock and roll memorabilia and recordings. It took us over a year, about 14 months, to categorize, store, label, enter into our database, and create our website. We were very surprised uh, when we got the boxes over to our building, and we actually looked in boxes that we had not opened before. We found assets that no one knew about. And that was a treasure trove that represented a period in time. A period in time from the earliest start of rock and roll music in the mid-1960s through the 1990s up to the year 2002. His birth name was Wolfgang Grzanka, and when he came to the United States, he renamed himself Bill Graham and made a life for himself. Uh, in addition to being someone that built an industry from scratch, the real concert promotion industry for rock and roll, he was different than most people. Bill Graham kept everything, and one might even call him a pack rat. What we find in Bill Graham's personal files, intermittently amongst this correspondence, are posters, postcards, we find even t-shirts, we find pins and buttons, we find Bill Graham's original signature and original ink, the surprises just don't stop when we open a new box. In mid-2002, we acquired the Bill Graham Archive from Clear Channel for between five and $5.5 million. We spent the first year after we acquired the Bill Graham Archive simply counting, categorizing, measuring um, and storing the assets that we had purchased. The due diligence took us about four months to complete uh, from start to finish. There was a team of four people plus two lawyers that went in there and basically looked at as many of these assets as we could possibly look at, though in truth we probably didn't look at much more than 50 percent of the assets. We stopped doing the due diligence when we came to the conclusion that what we had looked at more than justified the purchase price we were paying. And the next thing happened is we closed the transaction, we paid Clear Channel the money, and 26 40-foot vans lined up outside their building and moved the assets into our building. Thanks for your patience anyway. <laughs> When we acquired the Bill Graham Archive from Clear Channel, there were four different types of assets that we acquired as part of that acquisition. The first set of assets were the posters and the poster art, and all the ancillary items that are considered part of the poster art category, which would be tickets and handbills and posters and serographs and programs. The second pool of assets that we bought was the photography. Bill Graham hired great, great photographers like Jim Marshall and Baron Woolman and Michael Zagaris, and we are the sole representative of their phenomenal photography on the internet. The third major category was kind of everything else. You know, the pins, the buttons, the stickers, the backstage passes, the laminates, the poster ties, and the t-shirts. The last item of assets, or the last pool of assets we bought, was the audio and video archive. Graham either audio taped or audio and video taped over 7,000 performances that were done by the legendary groups at his legendary venues. Vault Radio is our internet radio station, and in Vault Radio will be playing for our listeners previously never before heard audio from the greatest performers of the 60s and the 70s as they performed for Bill Graham at his venues. The, the Vault Radio player, um, will have not only the current song that is being played, the venue where it was played, the performer and the date, 
it will also show the listener uh, various memorabilia from that performance, whether it's the poster, a concert ticket, uh, or a photograph of the performer actually during the performance. And the, the visitor will have the ability to go look at a larger picture of that poster or that photograph, and they will have the ability to buy that poster or photograph. The feedback forum is a very key component of Vault Radio. Within the feedback forum, we are going to give people the ability to tell us how we're doing. You know, are we doing well? Are we doing poorly? Do they like the product or don't like they like the product? We're also giving them the ability to tell us about whether they were at that performance, at that venue, watching that performer that night, and what actually happened there. Because they were there, they would know better than anyone else. Also, we have tens of thousands of individual songs. If someone was at a particular concert and wants to hear songs from that particular concert, we're asking them to tell us so that then we can add those songs to the playlist. It's one thing to listen to music. It's a totally different thing and a different experience to see the video to some of these great performances. We have the master video recording. And they are just phenomenally done and of a phenomenal quality. We anticipate adding video to the website to be accessible by anyone who visits the website later this year. Wolfgang's Vault starts and ends with its motto, where live music lives. Music.